What we're going to be going over here is cost accounting input measurements here. So when we're talking about cost accounting, we're going to have these different inventory valuation methods here. But when we're talking about the inputs to these inventory valuation methods, it's how these costs flow into and through our inventory account here. So we really have three different alternatives here for the input measurement basis. They're going to be the actual cost here or what sometimes referred to as actual historical amount here. And then we would have our normal costing here and referred to it as normal historical. And then we'd have our standard costing. Okay, so we're going to be looking at each of these different input measurements and how we would be uh, looking at how they affect our inventory here. Okay, so let's go over here and let's start with our actual costing here. And what we're dealing with with these, our inventory valuations here, we're looking at our direct materials, our direct labor, and our factory overhead here. So for actual costing, what we use here for each of those inputs here as our measurements here for direct materials, labor, and factory overhead, we use the actual cost. So the actual cost of each of these uh, flows into the inventory account. Okay, so for actual costing, only the actual costs flow through the inventory accounts. They flow into the inventory accounts at the actual cost, and they're gonna be flowing out of these inventory accounts at the actual cost. Okay, so that's our actual costing. Now next, let's look at normal costing. Again, we've, this is where we've got our direct materials, direct labor, and our factory overhead. And when I'm talking about factory overhead, we're looking at both fixed and variable overheads here. Okay, so for normal costing, our direct material is going to flow into the inventory account here at its actual cost. Direct labor is going to flow into inventory again at its actual cost. But when we get down to our factory overhead, it's going to go into the inventory here at some applied cost. That is some budgeted amount. That's some standard amount here that we allow for both our variable and fixed overheads here. So it's going to go in at some standard or applied or budgeted amount into our inventory account. And then the difference between what we have set as our standard or our budgeted amount here for our costing versus the actual cost that we'd have for our factory overhead here that difference would go into some overhead variance account. Okay, so for normal costing, you're gonna be using the actual cost for direct material and direct labor, but the overhead is charged and applied to the inventory using a predetermined overhead rate on a per activity measurement here. Okay, so that's our normal costing. All right, now for our standard costing. Again, we're dealing with our direct materials, direct labor, in our factory overhead. Now with standard costing, all our, uh, we're gonna be using an applied or a predetermined amount here for each of those inputs here, materials, labor, and overhead. So what is gonna go into the inventory account here is, is some standard amount of labor or material labor and overhead. The actual amount isn't gonna be going into the inventory account. It's going to come in at some applied standard here. And then the difference between what we have for our actual amounts for the period that we're looking at versus what we have for our applied or our standard amount, that difference is going to go into variance accounts here for direct material variances, direct labor variances, and overhead variances. Okay, for standard costing, all the manufacturing costs are applied or charged to our inventory using a standard or a predetermined price. And also for the quantities here, predetermined prices and predetermined quantities here, or what they would be calling as standard quantities allowed here. Okay, so the difference between our applied costs and the actual costs are charged to those variance accounts that we looked at. Okay, so finally, let's look here at our alternatives here for our inventory costing inputs. So remember, we went through our actual costing here, our normal costing, and then our standard costing. Okay, so for our manufacturing costs, we really have, we're going to have our variable direct costs. That would be like for our materials and our labor costs here. Those are going to be direct costs that go into our products here. And then we're going to have our variable overhead amount here. And then we're going to have some fixed direct costs, whatever they may be. 
and then we're going to also have the fixed overhead here. All right, so let's look at our actual costing here. This is where you're going to be using some actual price or rate here for those inputs that you're looking at here, labor materials and your overhead here, times the actual quantity used here for the period that we're looking at. Okay, so that's for our actual costing. Now for standard costing, we're going to be taking some standard or predetermined price or rate here times some standard quantity allowed for each of those inputs. Now the difference comes into our normal costing here. So we'll, we'll be looking at this and we'll go through. Let's, we're going to be looking at this. It's going to, for our, our variable direct costs and our fixed direct cost is going to come in at the actual price here times some actual quantity used here. And that would be the same here for our actual costing. But for our variable overhead and our fixed overhead here, it's going to come in and we're going to be using some budgeted rate, a budgeted rate in this time, times the actual quantity used here. Okay, so let's just go through these here. So looking at our variable direct costs, and we're talking about direct labor and direct materials. So actual costing, it's going to take the actual price times the actual quantity used. Normal costing, actual price times the actual quantity used. So actual costing and normal costing would be the same here. But what is different again is our standard costing. This is where we're going to take some standard or predetermined price here, or cost here, times the standard quantity allowed here for, in this case, our variable direct amounts here. That would be our materials and our labor here. Now for our variable overhead cost here, actual costing is going to take some actual rate here for our variable overhead, again, times some actual quantity used here. But normal costing, this is where it's different. You're going to take some budgeted rate here. It could be like a predetermined rate, similar to our standard costing here. But you take a budgeted rate times the actual quantity used. So uh, in this case, uh, actual costing here and normal costing are always using the actual quantity used here for the period. But now when we get into standard costing, same thing here where we got this standard rate here for our variable overhead times some standard quantity allowed here for in this case, the variable overhead. Now, for our fixed direct cost, whatever those may be, actual cost, and you're, again, you're gonna take the actual price here, and we're looking at everything here on a per unit basis here. So we would take our actual price, again, times our actual quantity used. But for nor in normal costing would be doing the same here. Just take your actual price and the actual quantity used. So normal costing and actual costing would be the same. Then again, uh, standard costing would be, again, taking some standard price here times the standard quantity allowed here for any of those fixed direct costs here. And then for our fixed overhead cost, actual costing again is going to take some actual rate here times the actual quantity used. Now this is where normal costing is different here. It's going to take a budgeted rate here times some actual quantity used. So normal costing and actual costing again are just using those the actual quantity used here for in this case the fixed overhead here. So that's the difference here. With normal costing, you're going to take some budgeted rate here, or you could say some predetermined rate here as well. But And then standard costing, again, it's going to take the standard rate here for this fixed overhead, some predetermined or stab established amount here, standard rate times the standard quantity allowed here for the fixed overhead. Okay, so what we've done here, it, you, you can see what's going on here. For the variable direct and the fixed direct cost here, actual costing and normal costing are the same. They're just taking some actual price or rate here times, or actual price here times the actual quantity used. But for our variable and our fixed overheads here, normal costing departs from actual costing because it's using some budgeted rate here times the actual quantity used here versus our actual costing is taking some actual rate times the actual quantity used here. And then, so that's really the difference here when you're talking about this, uh, this normal costing here versus actual costing. But then our standard costing really departs from both our normal costing and our actual costing because here it's, it's, we're taking some standard price or rate here times some standard quantity allowed for all of our, our inputs here for our variable direct, our variable overhead, our fixed direct, and our fixed overhead. Then again, uh, just going over the key here, so you a AR here stands for the actual rate or price, BR here stands for the budgeted rate or price, and SP stands for some standard 
rate or pre-established amount here, rate or price. And then again, just I've got everything color coded here. So any this AQU here again in green here, that's the actual quantity used here for each of those inputs here. And then for a standard cost costing here, that SQA here, that's the standard quantity allowed for each of those inputs that we're looking at here. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, what we're looking at when we're talking about these alternative inventory costing inputs. So just remember, this is what's flowing into our inventory valuation method here. And we got four different methods here in cost accounting, but you're either going in at the actual costing, normal costing, or standard costing. And when they flow into those inventories, they're going to be flowing out of those inventories, again, using these three different methods. What goes in comes out here in our different inventory valuation methods.